this is, where this comes from, this string of words. Yeah, that's what you say. Possibly. <laughs> okay. That's not where I got it from. Human development or something. Yeah, same. Human development. That's not where I, I got it from. Well, close. It is from the United States Department of Agriculture. This is their one of their most recent definitions for food security. Is that a term that you all use? And what do you know it to mean if this isn't what you think it means? What does it mean? Food security. specifically. Um, we are what uh, Donald described. Uh, hunger is not mentioned in our mission statement. We are trying to provide people uh, with the means to acquire uh, the food that they need to be healthy. Uh, health is the primary goal and objective of the work that we do at Collective Roots. Um, and we do that through uh, a variety of programs that we run. Uh, garden-based education programs. Some of these pictures on here are uh, a farmer's market that we run, uh, the East Palo Alto Community Farmer's Market in East Palo Alto. This is a customer uh, that shops at that farmer's market. Um, our farmer's market is unique in a variety of ways um, because we accept food stamps, uh, which there's another slide. Uh, here, a customer, and then here is a little sign that we have at our farmer's market um, where that shows that, hey, look, we've got the sign, we do accept EBT and food stamps at our farmer's market. Um, does anyone know what food stamps look like now? Are they like a swipe card? Right. It's a, like a little ATM card. And so at our farmer's market, we have a machine uh, where people come and they swipe their uh, little uh, EBT card at the machine um, to use their food stamps at our card, at our uh, farmer's market. There are people using food stamps all the time in our lives, and we probably don't even know it because they can be at us in front of line uh, at the supermarket using that little ATM credit card machine just like we use. And they just hit the EBT button to use their food stamps. Um, so we don't, you might not even know who's using them. Um, but our farmer's market is unique and different because we try very hard to get people that use EBT and food stamps to shop at the farmer's market because what is for sale at the farmer's market is only items that can help us get to uh, healthy lifestyles and improved health outcomes, uh, which is a goal of Collective Roots. Um, we also operate a fresh check program is what we call it. It's an incentive program which on the next uh, slide is a picture of the fresh check, which uh, they're each valued at $5. You can redeem them for fresh fruits and vegetables at the farmer's market. Um, it's kind of like our own little food stamps that we run in East Palo Alto. These are distributed in a variety of ways to make it more affordable uh, for people to buy the stuff that's for sale at the farmer's market. Um, and then the third element of the farmer's market that is addressing uh, food security is uh, that, that picture. Uh, this is 
Miss Clara Hartley, she's a, a resident of East Palo Alto, and these green things right here are, um, I'm not sure exactly what they are, but they look like a type of lettuce, uh, and she grew it in her backyard in East Palo Alto. We run a program called the Backyard Gardener Network, uh, through which people like Miss Clara Hartley can grow food in their backyards and bring it to the farmer's market and sell it for very cheap prices uh, to their, their neighbors and other customers at the farmer's market. So those are sort of the main ways that the farmer's market and collective boots hit, I think, on food security. Uh, yeah.